Hi everybody, this is Spader, and we're going to be playing through Blaster Master. Radioactive, huh? Yes, that was surprisingly the plot of the game and the book based off based off this game. Um, this was released in 1980, 1988, and um, I'm not exactly sure when the book got released, but you know it was about a hundred pages. Uh, novelette size. Ooh. Hit these grenades. And right now, um, it's the first stage. Uh, it's just in the bottom, or just at the start of the underground world. Um, I believe it's the Lightning King that's trying to take over the world. Or ah, shoot, kept forgetting the uh, Genex mixed around. Okay, I'm gonna go get a little bit of stock real quick, right down here. Alright, this shop's pretty... is okay at uh, stocking up. I'm just showing it off. Um, since one of the guys on the forum said, Hey, I don't get to see too much of the world. And I'm just showing off the places that are good places to go. Uh, for like, power upgrades and whatnot. Uh, some of the later levels, I'm not actually going to go to into most of the shops just because uh, they're ungood um, for like how much effort you have to put in to get powered up. Uh, this little guy that I'm playing around in, or playing around as, is Jason. Um, and He's trying to save his uh, pet frog or something like that, the one from the beginning. Just gaining some energy back. And I'm going to go down here real quick at, with him. Uh, your car really doesn't get... Um, too much doesn't get too good of gas mileage down in the water, um, unfortunately. It's super high tech, but uh, once it's underwater, it just sinks like a rock. And its uh, jumping uh, speed is like half its normal, or jumping range is half its normal. Okay, uh, right, and right now I'm just taking you to the first boss, uh, and this first stage and second stage, health is not that important and neither is gun, uh, mainly because you can do tricks to kill out the bosses pretty darn easily. Well, the first one, you can't really do tricks, you can just, uh, wail on them with grenades. And that's pretty effective for most bosses, um... 
that's essentially what the A's Star Trek is for later on. And I'm actually going to be doing that one, just since, if you don't, the bosses are total dicks. Yeah, just seeing if there's any buried treasure in those. And these little slider guys will try to hit you if you come near them. They're not the toughest creatures out there, but, you know, they do get annoying in some stages. See? Like that. And these little um, gray and pink guys aren't too annoying. They just uh, walk at you and sometimes shoot. And we got a little Indian guy over here. And he's very taken care of. Take care of the floaties. And they drop uh, three-way missiles. Not... Shoot. I want to get to that power in time before it disappeared. Unless I went through and... Uh, flashing items give you four times what they normally are. And this bus is easy enough where I'm not going to need it. There we go. As you see, we got the hyper. And that will allow us to get to uh, stage two. It also makes uh, Jason's going to be able to uh, kill this next bot or this next mini boss. And it's pretty much the only one that's. Um, Pretty much the only boss you fight as in your car. Hit select to get back in. And every time you get back in your car, you get your health refilled. I'm going to go pick up some more homing missiles real quick. Because uh, later on, I'm going to be using those way too often. Even in the next stage, way too often. Yeah, if you just slowly approach that guy, he won't have a fix on you, and you can just knock the tar out of him, and most of the time that works uh, if you're a faster shot than I am. Just trying to get a little health pickup or two. Okay, I'm going to be breaking it off here, and see you next time for more Let's Play uh, Blaster Master. And, uh, sorry. Yeah, see you guys next time.